Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today, as promised for like the longest time ever, here's my new gaming setup tour for 2019, but it's not entirely finished as yet. I have quite a few things I want to buy, including a new mouse and a few other things, I, th I think. Some LED lights, a computer case, a lot of things I've been thinking about. So if you guys did like this video, please drop a like. Let's go for 500 likes on today's video, dudes. Also, comment down below and let me know what do you want me to add to this setup? What do you think about it? Uh, let me know what can be improved on it. You guys let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Please drop a like, share this video on Instagram and Twitter, guys. Helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to use my supporter creator code, guys, right there in the bottom of the screen. So guys, let's start off first with the chair. Please ignore the ugly wiring setup there, guys. Still not finished completely. Got a lot of work to be done on this setup, guys. But it's still beautiful. So we got a killer B chair. I bought this chair a few months ago. Oh, why is it off? Oh, there you go. OCD kicked in. <laughs> so it's a killer B chair, guys. I got this on sale for like, I don't know, it's like what? 150 bucks pretty good price not bad bro i really like it it has memory foam up in it the cushions are very nice and soft good price bro keeps me comfy during those long streams where there's events guys next up guys we have my mouse my gaming mouse is a corsair m65 rgb and i have to admit this is beautiful bro just just look at that oh that's sexy bro oh shaka buns we have Alexa. Simon says, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Nice. Right next to it, guys, we have the Elgato Stream Deck. I actually just got this a few days ago. I'm still trying to set it up, bro, but I have to admit, this is the most important thing to my setup right now because literally, guys, it allows me to do everything at a touch of a button bro instead of having to move my mouse click here click there go to the next screen do that no way bro this thing pulls up everything in a blink of the eye bro i love it i really recommend it bro you can probably get this uh stream deck for like 150 dollars and right now they have the mini on sale at best buy for like 68 dollars it's totally dope i had bought the mini one originally but i decided that i kind of wanted the big one because i felt like the big one was like a better choice next in line guys we have my webcam this is a logitech pro stream webcam I just recently picked it up uh, I gotta admit it's pretty nice I, I, I really like it the quality is very good Logitech has always had great quality webcams for great prices so I recommend it it's, a, it's decent for like a budget build I would say because I um, mean you know it's not like I have a 4k camera like a DSLR I, I would but I just don't know how to hook it up if anybody knows how to hook it up let me know down in the comment section below guys I, I, I can use the help Next up guys, we have my second camera. This is a Logitech C920. I originally started my YouTube channel with the same camera right there. And I decided to use this camera as a keyboard cam. Cause as you know, I recently left console and now I'm playing uh, Fortnite on the PC. Uh, today actually marks my first month. So you can expect like a, a monthly progression video. If that's how you say it, coming very soon. Make sure you guys have notifications turned on for the channel, bro. Next up guys, we have my microphone setup. Um, it's not entirely finished as yet uh, Right here in front of us guys. I have a dragon pad. This basically helps me save myself from all the <laughs> All the static on the stream when I'm talking or anything if I say if I'm going crazy and I'm raging like I always do in Fortnite uh, This helps me stop the static on the stream. So you guys don't have ear rape going on. This is a Samsung G track pro I really recommend this bro except it's really hard to find um, any uh, boom arms that, that go with this bro because 
nothing fits it so that's why it's sitting right there until i can figure out what to do with it but it's a really good camera you can actually split the direction of the mic um i have mine set to one direction so it's so you only get pickup audio on what's in front of it also really quickly guys everything in my setup is gonna be listed down in my description box below so if you guys do want to check it out if you guys don't understand what i'm saying or if i'm just speaking too fast everything's right down in my description box feel free to check it out so this is a uh, hyper x cloud revolver headphones guys super comfortable memory from around the ears Oh my goodness, the most comfortable headphones I've ever had, ever. I used to use these headphones right there, if you look right there. Those blue ones, the Turtle Beaches, the very cheap ones. Yeah, that's what I used to use. Sadly enough, that thing was horrible, bro. Have to admit that right now, it was straight up doo-doo. Next monitor, guys, is my wonderful monitor that I love so much. It's my uh, Asus ROG Strix. Uh, something, 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 bro. 27 inch curve. Not too sure of the name because the name is like so freaking long, but the name is like down in the description box. Literally, guys, this thing is beautiful, bro. Curve 27 inches, one millisecond response time, uh, 144 hertz, bro. It's, it is freaking amazing, bro. This is what I play Fortnite off of. Later on in the channel, I do plan on buying the Alienware one, like the 240 hertz one, but that's not till later on. Right now, not right now, but later on in the future, guys. Next up, I have my Corsair K95 keyboard, bro. This thing, just by looking at it alone, you can tell how beautiful it is. You already know why I bought it, bro. The cushion, ugh, wonderful. It's magnetic, you can flip it around. Two different types of pattern on each side, bro. Wonderful, guys. I like the lighting on this keyboard because, bro, honestly, just look at it. You, I can literally, I can literally sit here all day and look at this, bro. You can set any key to any individual light. You have 16.8 or 18.2, whatever. I don't even care how many light combinations you could do, bro. It's freaking amazing, bro. I recommend it, but it's like $200. If you can get this thing on sale, I got this one on sale around Christmas time for about 130 bucks. It's like a $200 laptop. I'm a laptop. It's like a $200 keyboard. And I paid 130 bucks for it, guys. Totally worth it if you get it on sale. But we have my new mouse pad that I, I actually just bought, like, literally today. I just bought it before I started filming this. This is my Razer Goliath Extended mouse pad, bro. And oh my goodness. It changed the setup so much. It makes me just love it right now. Look at that, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Just look at that. Oh my god, bro. Dude, that thing is amazing, bro. I'm still trying to figure out how to change the colors on it and do all the cool lighting setup stuff with the Razer Synapsis or whatever. It's so confusing, bro, to even connect it, but it's worth it, though. The lights are just amazing. And if you guys don't know, I love RGB. Really quickly, dudes, before you know, I, I go back to showing you guys the setup tour, uh, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, notifications turned on, and yeah, please, it helps me out a lot. Share this video with all your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media sites you guys have. It really helps me out a lot. Oh, but one more thing about the monitor that I forgot to show you. It has a projector at the bottom. So it literally, you could project anything you want. to give you a few uh, clear lenses that you could write on, put stuff on, put a logo on. But I chose to stick to the stock MSI one for now until I, until I get a permanent logo for my channel. There's actually a story behind this computer, guys. I bought this computer from Best Buy. Please don't kill me down in the comment section, guys, because listen, there's a story to it. There's a reason why I bought it from them. I got this computer for $1,000 from Best Buy. It's like, it's a Ryzen 2700X, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, two terabyte memory, 250 SSD, uh, Nvidia 2070, all the lights, all the fans, uh, bro, you only thing, only thing bad about it, it has that air cooler, which I am not a big fan of, and also the case. I'm gonna show you the case in just a moment. But that's the build. I bought this PC from Best Buy because one day, uh, I needed it for the stream because all the vents was going down, and I needed a computer because my laptop gave out. Literally, my laptop, I could, couldn't even do anything off it. Plus, I wanted I wanted to leave PS4 and controller and just move on to PC because I do want to get better and move into the scrims one day eventually. Hopefully, but with practice, maybe I could. Okay, I suck right now. But I went to Best Buy. I bought this PC originally for... Um, I bought this PC before one time just to use it and return it. I bought it for $1,500. So, you know, I bought the one I had, blah, blah, blah. I used it, took it back, and then... 
I was like, okay, I'm going to buy one, I'm going to build one. So when in the process of doing that, I, I couldn't decide what I wanted. I didn't know how much I wanted to spend because my channel was up and down. I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. So then eventually I was like, you know what? Let me look online some more, see if I can find a pre-build. And then later in the future, I'm just going to take it apart and rebuild it again. So I was checking on Best Buy's website. I saw they had a deal, uh, $9.99 for the, the same thing, Ryzen 2700X, uh, NVIDIA 2070, same, exactly the same build, same thing, same case, same everything. So I went in, I was like, hey, I bought it online. I went in, I was like, why is the price low? They said that uh, something's wrong with the computer. The lighting is not working, so they clearanced it. I'm like, oh, really? I could work with that, I'll take it, no problem, I bought it, you know, I took it home that same night, took it in my bedroom, put it in a cardboard box, st stripped the computer, literally fixed the lights on it, bought that bottom light set up right there for no bizarre reason, for no reason at all actually, and here we are, saved me like $500 and possibly more, but I am going to be buying a case for it, brand new fans, a, air co a water, a liquid cooler, and yeah, that's about it. It's gonna be in a way. It's gonna have a way better casing, way better look. Just, I just gotta show you guys, like without that light, bro. Like look at that. Come on, you guys can't tell me that this is not a beautiful setup, bro. I mean, there's a lot more to be done to it, but this is like basically a semi-budget build, I would say. The computer's a budget build. I mean, I just got it for a good price because Best Buy is like stupid. But <laughs> that's a whole a story for another day. Uh, but yeah, dudes, let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about my gaming setup? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about my gaming setup? What could I improve on it? Uh, what do you want to see added? LED lights, uh, brand new uh, computer case. Uh, anyway, just let me know whatever you guys want to see. Also, I am getting a new light back there. That, that, that light right there sucks. I'm buying the Elgato key light in the upcoming future, but that's like $300 I don't have right now to spend. So we're going to do that in the upcoming future, guys. But guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and notifications turned on, and comment down below what you guys think. Or just comment whatever you want down below, man. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video and stream. Be on the lookout for my progression video went from the transfer from PS4 controller basically to PC on Fortnite. I must admit, the hardest transition ever.